Hello, my name is Dr. Frank Wong. I'm both a teacher and the president of the Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics. Today's brief lesson is on differential equations. Now remember that calculus is quite simply the mathematics of change and a differential equation is an equation that involves rates of change. And uh, from your basic study of calculus, you know that a uh, rate of change is expressed as a derivative or a differential. And so a differential equation is simply an equation that involves differentials or derivatives. We're going to look at a very simple differential equation. And what gives rise to this differential equation is uh, a basic observation that has been made about populations. We know that in general, a population, let's say a population of people or of rabbits uh, or of um, uh, bacteria, that the rate of change of population is proportional to the population. So the larger the population, the faster the rate of change. This actually also applies to money. The more money one has, the faster that money grows. And so there's a little bit of truth to the fact that they say the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Indeed, if you happen to have a lot of money, that the rate at which that money will grow is uh, faster and, and larger than if you had a smaller amount of money. And if, in fact, if you owe money, then uh, you will continue to owe more and more money with the rate at which you owe, uh, uh, the rate at which that amount that you owe uh, will, that will grow will get larger and uh, larger. Let's look at the population situation here. So again, uh, I remind you that a differential equation is an equation that involves rates of change, that is derivatives or differentials. But let's look at this situation here. We know that at a given time, the rate of change of population is proportional to the population. So how do we express that mathematically? Okay, let's see over here, we're gonna drop the shade over here. So we have dp dt is equal to kt. That is the rate of change of population with respect to time is equal to kp. This is mathematically an expression of the notion that the rate of change of population is uh, proportional to the population. So let's try to solve this differential equation. To solve this differential equation, we get all the p's on one side and we put everything that involves uh, t on the other side. So we've got dp over p is equal to k dt. We're going to integrate both sides with respect to, uh, and, uh, we're going to integrate both sides over here. And what do we get? We get the natural log of p is equal to kt plus c. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to set t equals zero. When we set t equals zero, this kt term goes away and we get the constant is equal to the natural log of p sub zero. We're going to let p sub zero, or some people will say p naught, represent the initial population. So the population at time t equals zero is the initial population, and so we find that the constant is simply the natural log of the initial population. And so if we go back and substitute in the original equations here, we get the natural log of p minus the natural log of p naught is equal to kt, and so using the properties of the logarithm, we get the natural log of p over p0 is equal to kt. And at this point, we recall, we recall that by the definition of, uh, x, uh, definition of the logarithm, when we, say, when we say the natural log of p over p0 equals kt, what we're saying is that e to the kt is equal to p over p0. So let's uh, take a, a little digression here. We see that if e to the stick man is equal to glob, that is equivalent to saying that the natural log of glob is equal to stick man. Now some of you uh, may notice that when I integrated here, when I integrated back here and to get the um, here the natural log of p, some people may say, well, I'm missing the absolute value signs. And indeed, uh, to be uh, precise, we need to have the, uh, the, the uh, absolute value signs, but we note that population is assumed to be positive. Population is assumed to be positive, so we don't need those um, absolute value signs. And so what we end up with here is uh, the equation that the population is equal to the initial population times e to the kt. So that is the population uh, at a particular time is equal to the initial population uh, times e to the kt. And this is the solution to the original differential equation. The original differential equation uh, being that dp over dt is equal to kp, uh, which is really a mathematical expression of the notion that the rate of change of population is proportional to the population. 
And so that ends our first brief lesson on differential equations.